now point number two we're looking at the rejection and the everlasting suffering of the godless with the hypocrites we're looking at revelation chapter 21 verse 8 revelation chapter 21 we're reading from verse 8 but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and all mongers and sorcerers and all idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death then in revelation chapter 22 reading from verse 15 it says for without are dogs and sorcerers and all mongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie the rejection and everlasting suffering of the godless with hypocrites three things we're looking at number one the exclusion of the abominable from the blessedness of heaven number two the experience of the abandoned in the burning brimstone outside heaven number three the expulsion for absence from the bridegroom's book in heaven let's look at number one number one is the exclusion of the abominable from the blessedness of heaven it tells us in revelation chapter 21 reading from verse 8 it says but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and all mongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death look at the list there and remember this is the revelation of god unto john through the angel for the servants of god all over the world and in all generations it says and the fearful who are the people that will miss heaven those who are fearful to repent those who are fearful to make right their ways those who are fearful to make restitution those who are fearful to take a stand to say i hear the call of the lord is calling me to salvation and i must re respond they are afraid of what their neighbors will say if i repent i don't go to those nightclubs anymore i don't gamble anymore and i don't practice all the evil who have been practicing before they might ask me have you joined them are you deeper now are you holy now are you not better than us now they're afraid of the comments of people they know the mind of god they have the calling of god they know this is the way what key they are in they are fearful there are those who are fearful they know the right thing to do they might pray a kind of short prayer oh god forgive me i will not go that direction again and then after the meeting after the prayer then they want to do what they consecrated they were going to do and somebody says i see you i see that you are trying to get out of what we have been doing together okay go ahead i give you one week and then they put fire under him and then he says i'm afraid of these people you're afraid of fire that will go out in a moment of time 
and you're not afraid of the fire that will burn and burn you forever and ever and you will not die whatever you are afraid of whoever you are afraid of that person you are afraid of can take heaven from you and take you from heaven the fearful and the unbelieving they hear the Lord is coming yes I know the Lord is coming I don't believe he will come today I will I don't believe he'll come just at any time they are unbelieving they hear the word of God without holiness no man shall see the Lord I hear that do I believe that in their lives in small things and big things they consider what material gain they are going to have and the consideration of the material gain makes them not to fully wholeheartedly believe that this will land them in the lake of fire the fearful the unbelieving the abominable those are the dirty people the dirty in character they're dirty in behavior they're dirty in their thoughts and they're defiled and it says those ones will not get to heaven and the murderers that one is clear those who shed other people's blood those who kill other people maybe for money maybe to get their house the servants will you know take the life of the master and the maid will take the life of the mistress because they want to get to be trinkets they're looking for it might be some material tangible things they're looking for and they shed blood and they are murderers or they maybe they don't do it directly they instigate and influence other people to do it and then it said they're all mongers that just talking about uh, those who are you know fleshly they have the loss of the flesh and they don't ever want you to mention that word that Jesus mentioned a number of times fornication adultery they say there's a modern world and preachers should be so dignified and civilized more civilized than christ more civilized than paul more civilized than the almighty god that says adulterers and fornicators if they do not repent if their lives are not clean they will spend eternity in hell fire well and it said the sorcerers the sorcerers are the people that use dark powers occultic powers they use the jew to terminate the lives of other people terminate pregnancy terminate whatever and then it says idolaters and all liars they shall have their part in the lake that burned with fire and brimstone that the final second eternal separation from god and from heaven at the second death in verse 27 it tells us and there shall in no wise enter into heaven anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are rich in in the lamb's book of life First Corinthians chapter 6, we're reading from verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 9. Know ye not, we ought to know by now, know ye not that your righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, preachers, make it clear. It will just say sin, sin. Those people don't understand what sin is. Describe it. Name it. Tell them. Don't be afraid. Remember the preachers who are fearful. Fearful to declare the might of God. They are not going to have a place with God in eternity. It says, don't you know that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor the effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Man and man, woman and woman, effeminate 
abusers of themselves with mankind but then it says no thieves no covetous no drunkards no revilers no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God they will not Galatians chapter 5 reading from verse 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these if you are a preacher of the bible preach the bible read the word explain the word let the sinners know why the lord is sending them to hell if they don't repent don't just use you know some innocent words and some watered down sentences don't just use some uh, sugar-coated words tell it as it is now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, verse 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, verse 21, envies, murders, drunkenness, Revelies and such like of the which I tell you before, and as I have also told you in time past, Paul the Apostle said, I told you before, I told you in time past, and I'm telling you now. What a preacher that he didn't say when we were not very civilized and when we are not very much cultured we mentioned adultery fornication the feminine abusers of themselves with mankind but now we are ministering to highly placed people and we're ministering to civilized people civilized people commit adultery too and civilized people all those people all over anywhere and everywhere they commit fornication they commit adultery if we want real salvation for them make it clear paul the apostle said i told you before i'm telling you now i will keep on telling you that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 7, we're reading from verse 21. For from within, this is Christ, this is Christ. He is a forerunner and a perfect example. And we're following after him. You as a preacher, you don't ever want to be more civilized than Christ and use the excuse that now we're in modern life and in modern life we don't spell out things we don't say this is black this is white we we'll say it's gray is somewhere in between be like Christ look at what Christ said for from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts adulteries fornications murders verse 22 thefts covetousness wickedness deceit lasciviousness an evil eye blasphemy pride foolishness verse 23 all these evil things come from within and defile the man let's look at number two here number two is the experience of the abandoned in the burning brimstone outside heaven in revelation chapter 21 verse 8 but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and all mongers and sorcerers and idolaters 
and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second day chapter 14 verse 10 in chapter 14 reading from verse 10 the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of god which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb in verse 11 and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever chapter 19 verse 20 revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image these both were cast alive into the lake a lake of fire burning with brimstone chapter 20 verse 10 and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever matthew chapter 25 reading from verse 41 then shall he say unto them on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels verse 46 and these shall go away into everlasting punishment that's what jesus said is the truth is the personification of the truth and it remains the same yesterday today and forever he says there is a lake of fire burning was with sulfur with brimstone and the suffering is forever and ever satan will be in that lake of fire the antichrist will be in that lake of fire the false prophet and all false prophets will be in that lake of fire and the people that are fearful the people that are unbelieving the people that are abominable the people who are among us the adulterers the fornicators and the people who die in their defilement they will spend eternity in that lake of fire these shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into life everlasting let's look at number three here is the expulsion for absence from the bridegroom's book in heaven that book is called the book of life that book is called the lamb's book of life the lamb is the bridegroom and if any name is missing out of the bridegroom's book of life out of the lamb's book of life out of the book of life in heaven that name because he is absent from that book of life will spend eternity forever and ever in a place of punishment the expulsion for absence from the bridegroom's book in heaven revelation chapter 21 verse 27 and there shall in no wise enter into each anything that defileth neither whatsoever walketh abomination whosoever 
whatsoever anything anyone or maketh a lie or manufactures a lie there are people whose lives revolved around telling lies for whatever reason they want to cover up something they want to gain something they want to avoid being detected they want to avoid saying sorry they want to avoid repentance they want to save their face they save their face they cannot save their lives they save their face they cannot save their heart their spirit and therefore they manufacture they create and they make lives and their friends know them they say nobody can catch so and so he always has a ready made lie to cover up that action maybe that's this kind of wisdom the wisdom that drives a person to hell the wisdom that makes a person not to remember repentance the wisdom that makes a person to shut up himself in evil and this and the uh, and deception and destruction it says or oh, whatsoever maketh a lie but the people that will get to heaven are they which are reaching in the lamb's book of life who are the people that are missing from the book of life who are the people that don't have their names preserved in the book of life exodus chapter 32 we're reading from verse 31 and moses returned unto the lord and said oh these people have seen a great sin and have made them gods of gold verse 32 yet now if thou will forgive their sin without repenting yet now if thou will, will forgive their sin without feeling the deep contrition and conviction of what they have done yet now if thou will forgive their sin with all the excuses Aaron and all the other people are making they gave me those the gold I threw into fire and without doing anything at all this is what came out forgiveness does not come on the basis of excuses the name of anyone does not enter into the book of life by giving excuses and uh, forgive me in the name of Jesus it doesn't come like that maybe they can forgive us here on earth but God is looking for repentance a change of heart a change of life a change of character a change of action a change of behavior and real deeply feeling sorry sorry to the point where we will not do that again and then we're forgiven by the grace of god and we're cleansed by the grace of god here is moses saying yet now if thou will forgive them he couldn't finish that sentence and if not blot me i pray thee out of the book which thou hast written well moses god walks by his word by his law god does not walk by the desire of moses and the good intention of moses look at verse 33 it says and the lord said unto moses and the lord said unto the intercessor and the lord said unto the shepherd of israel and the lord said unto the leader of israel willing to have his name out of the book god said i don't act like that how can i take your name away from the book that i've written you have not offended me 
you stayed with me on the mount those 40 days you're loyal you're faithful you're dependable you're righteous you're the kind of person i'm looking for and if all of israel were like you heaven will be happier i don't walk by the suggestion of any man i have a principle i have a precept and that's how i act whosoever have sinned against me him well, I blot out of my book. Those are the people. They are missing from the bridegroom's book in heaven. And because they have sinned against the Lord and they do not repent, if they die in that condition, they cannot get to heaven. Revelation chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 8. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 And all that dwell upon the earth Shall worship him The Antichrist Whose names are not written In the book of the Lamb The Lamb slain From the foundation of the world Revelation chapter 17 verse 8 It says And the beast That thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life the people who see occultism at work and they wonder the people who see the magic of the beast and they wonder the people who see the activities of the antichrist and they wonder and they, they do not know the difference between the miracles of christ and the magic of the antichrist and they just wonder and then he says whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world from the foundation of the world from adam and eve unto the time of noah and abraham and moses from the foundation of the world unto the time of malachi and matthew and unto the time of jude and revelation all through from the foundation of the world all those whose names have not been written in the book of life they will be in that burning lake of fire. In chapter 20, verse 15, Revelation 20, verse 15, And whosoever, and whosoever, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life, was cast.